learning in the outdoors doesn't end with graduation. Idaho hunters, anglers, hikers, foragers, and artisans spend lifetimes learning from Mother Nature. But for adults who want a more formal instruction, Idaho's Department of Fish and Game may have exactly what you're looking for. You're learning constantly. And the program teaches you biology, teaches you flowers, teaches you mycology. I mean, you go through everything. The Idaho Master Naturalist program started here in Idaho in 2008. It's education for adults and a volunteer component. They go through 40 hours of education provided to them by their local chapter. And that education can be lectures, it can be field trips, it can be workshops, all sorts of different ways that education comes to them. And then they volunteer 40 hours of conservation service. So it could be uh, citizen science, it can be um, educating others, it could be habitat improvement, all sorts of different volunteer opportunities. I come from a hunting, fishing, camping, shooting background and raising two little boys. And for me, it was always about what can I do to learn more about my own natural environment so I could share that knowledge with my kids. It makes you a better outdoors person, uh, a better conservationist, and just a better kind of steward for the land and kind of a guide for Idaho with all the people that are coming here. I think people want to connect with nature. They want to, to, to learn the stuff that they maybe didn't get to learn about in school. And so with Master Naturalist, it's a great way to get a little information and kind of find out what you're more interested in. Dylan Starry is one of about 1,500 Idaho Master Naturalists. And as program manager for Canyon County Parks, he's perfectly positioned to instruct budding Master Naturalists. Today at, at Celebration Park, we talked about winter desert ecology, and then in later we're talking about how the prehistoric humans would have kind of got on through winter and how they made, made do with the environment that they have. You can study this and learn this right here where you live. They don't have to come far to learn about 10,000 years of human population. And that's our opportunity to help create good stewards of the land and the cultural resources. So you can study something in a book and you could imagine it or think about it, but you really don't understand it and feel it until you're here in the environment. So to see these cliffs over here, you see the majesty of nature around you. I call outdoor education an ability to engage all of our senses and our learning. So we're basically firing up all the pathways of our brain, engaging our curiosity, and that in itself helps us remember a lot more than like if you just open a book or we're reading about something online. You're really immersed in your topic. Laura Strange is a master naturalist and an outdoor natural science teacher at CUNA High School. She cites research that shows outdoor education is not just fun and healthy, it can spark a love of learning. It can engage different kinds of student intelligences, boost focus and performance, even enhance behavioral and emotional development. And it can build a student's sense of place and inspire civic and environmental responsibility. Through exploration, we have discovery. Through discovery, we have learning Learning creates connection to where we are. Then that causes us to care, and eventually that creates stewards and people who want to protect what we have. And so I think that's basically outdoor education in a nutshell. Today in the class, we could have talked about those insects. We could have cut out pictures of those insects. We could have ID'd those insects on paper, but they, they held them in their hands. Like they felt them moving across their hands and their skin, and they'd never done that before. And I guarantee you, they will remember that. They may not remember the names, they may not know what species it was, but they're gonna know that that river is full of fish food. And that wouldn't have happened with paper inside. Something else happens in the outdoors, personal connections. And that's turned out to be as important in the Master Naturalist program as learning and volunteering. 
People are making friends and they're going out to lunch and coffee and they're going hiking together and they go camping together, they go fishing together and they didn't know each other before. I knew in theory that the camaraderie was important and that the social aspects of that program for adults was important just because everybody had told me that. But I saw it firsthand. I work in retail management. I don't normally get to play outdoors and, and teach it to others. You learn something that you're passionate about anyway, you get better at it, and it's just a lot of fun to be outside and then share the experience with others.